Directive 8020, the announced trailer, the official announced trailer. I am so excited for this. I mean, for fans of Supermassive, just think. We have the casting of Frank Stone. We have the Until Dawn remaster. And now we got Directive 8020, finally, finally, coming soon, hopefully soon. I mean, I mean, heck, they, they had dropped Until Dawn to be literally around the corner. I mean, this game could come out in November, which would be just ridiculous because you'd have three major Supermassive releases back to back to back. And I would be so over the moon for this. Hello, my friends. My name is Flatless Bird. This is your Story Based Gaming Channel. We have played through every single dark picture game on the channel. We played through the quarry multiple, multiple times. We'll play Until Dawn when the remaster comes out. We played seven playthroughs of Hidden Agenda. I am in love with Supermassive, and I can't wait to see what they're cooking up in Directive 8020, a game that we first heard about at the end of The Devil in Me. Don't forget, there was that trailer for this game at the end of that one. So without further ado, let's check out the trailer, and then let's read the blog about Supermassive talking about this game. Okay, so the trailer seems to only be about a minute long, but let's take a look at it. I've always wanted to fly. The joy of it, the freedom of it, to just take your life in your hands and soar. Okay, hold on. That says Corinth right there, I believe. I think that's in us all, isn't it? At least that's what my dad taught. And that looks like Blood and sparks. Oh, oh, oh! I paused at the right moment. I saw, I saw something in the background there. Oh, that's who is that? Unlocked. Yeah, I was I was about to say that looked exactly like her because this picture here from behind I was like man that kind of looks like her doesn't it? Uh she's British. See the Great Britain patch on her side. And then what is going on here? So this thing is replicating her look, possibly? That would be really fascinating to play a talk picture game where you didn't know who to trust because there was an entity on board that could duplicate itself and make it so that you wouldn't know if the person you're talking to is good or not. I. I isn't that the, isn't that like the thing? I haven't seen the movie, but the idea that a monster can get in a person's body and overtake them or something. That's a great picture, by the way. What was that? Oh, ooh, we got a release date, 2025. So it's not coming out by the end of the year. That's unfortunate. What's that at the end? What is this? See this right here? Some sort of mutation or something going out of her arm? Yes, I paused on the wrong spot. What the heck is that? Directive 8020. The Dark Pictures game. I'm super excited for this. Um, let's go back to the end there because there's so much that just happened at the end. It looked like actual gameplay footage. See, that looks like gameplay footage. Oh, hold on, hold on. It looks like you were hiding from something. Right there, you see it on the end? 
Right here, this flashlight. And then we see... What is this? It's like a corruption infecting the people. Whoa! Yeah, there's some sort of like corruption infecting people. Whoa, 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 what was that? There, there was something in the background there. It's like something over here. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but it looked like there's like something back here which I can't see. Okay, um... This looks wild. I mean, this right here looks like actual gameplay. So you're sort of, I mean, I imagine this is like a hiding section where you're trying to hide from these things. But what is going on here? Because we've only seen two, one person's entire trailer. I think this person here is the woman at the beginning. Her. And she talks about flying. So this was like before. And then everything basically goes to hell. Uh, where this creature unlocks the door and attacks her. I wonder if this is the... I wonder if this is the prologue that they're showing us. So she's a prologue character. She's not an actual, you know, one of the five of the dark picture games. Because it would make a lot of sense if, that, if, if she died here. And this part here... Is her hiding. So she comes to a space station. And the fact that she's the only character that we see in the trail that isn't a monster. Makes me think that. That she could be a prologue. Although these characters here could be. What happens to our characters when we fail. So when we fail they don't die. They become these. Alien creatures. Of sorts. Woo. 2025, unfortunately, we do have to wait a little bit, but there was a lot of good stuff coming with the Castle of Frank Stone, the Until Dawn remaster, that it's, it's okay. If, if they make this game solid and awesome, I'm all in on it. By the way, this looks like some sort of shadow monster coming down, and this looks like, person that looks like an exit sign. Huh. Okay, let's go ahead and read the thing that Supermassive released on the PlayStation blog. This was posted today, August 20th, although I'm recording this yesterday. But anyway, uh, so August 20th, uh, Directive 8020 launches on PS5 in 2025 from the PlayStation blog. Uh, Supermassive Games share the first details of the new sci-fi survival horror Dark Pictures game by Dan McDonald, studio director of Supermassive Games. I'm... Hugely excited to announce Directive 8020, an all-new sci-fi survival horror adventure game coming in 2025 from Supermassive Games. Directive 8020 is an all-new sci-fi survival horror adventure with all the immersive cinematic gameplay that you expect from a Supermassive game, but now with even more features and play agency than we've ever done before. This excites me so much. Not so much this part, but this part here. The fact that our choices mattering means a lot and i think that this is the number one complaint you may have about a dark picture game do your choices matter do you feel like your choices matter because if you don't feel like your choices matter then what's the point of replaying the game over and over and over again to see the different results so i'm really interested in how they're offering more play agency so let's first start with the story i like story Earth is dying and humanity is running out of time. 12 light years away, the planet Tau Ceti F offers a small sliver of hope. But when the colony ship Cassiopeia, we, I believe we saw this in the, in the trailer for the Devil Emmy, crashes onto the planet, the crew soon realize they're far from alone. Hunted by an alien organism capable of mimicking its prey, the crew of the Cassiopeia must out with the pursuers to make a home alive. As they battle survive, they are confronted with the hardest choice of all. To save themselves, they must risk the lives of everyone on Earth. Naturally, as it's super massive horror game, things are not going to go to plan for a pioneering crew. So, ooh, it's interesting. So the people can mimic its 
prey. So it's very possible that the the creature is yeah, it's just it, it's mimicking. I, I mean, this is something that I theorized in the video, but at the same time, I can't help but think this may be a trick of some kind. We all know Supermassive likes tricks, um, and of course, we see the beautiful plant here. Across the game, you'll explore the claustrophobic standard wreck of an of a rec recon ship, the Cassiopeia. A dark, terrifying location filled with horrors. Our game draws inspiration from different sci-fi horror films, from Alien through to Event Horizon. Like many of those movies, the game explores themes of sci-fi horror. We are adrift in space, insignificant and inconsequential compared to the vastness of space. The universe itself is uncaring and comfortless. I really like how they're taking this into space, and it will make the dark picture game feel so much different than anything else they've done. I mean, they've done a little of it with House of Ashes, but ooh, what if there's an what if there's a House of Ashes connection to this game? Because don't forget, in that game, there was you know a, a crashed ship, right? Uh, in space, death takes many forms. Death is important in a dark picture game. We also lean into bottle horror. Our alien entry has a grotesque design. We've seen it: warped flesh, bubbling pustule-like eyes, and polymorphous form. First of all, it can be form inspired to mimic any one of your crew. You must decide who to trust or mobile. Anyone can be a deadly alien imposter. Yes! Yeah! That's what I was hoping for. Like, when I saw that trailer, I was like, man, I, I hope that's what they're doing. And, you know, they said it up here as well. So they, they keep saying it. And I am... I'm excited about that. Over the course of the game, you'll control five crew members and play each of them multiple times. Their fate rests in your hands as each crew member under your control lives or dies based on your actions. So another five-person crew, just like a dark picture game. This is a branch of war adventure where your decisions shape the final outcome of the story. But it won't be easy. For the first time in a dark picture game, you will face real-time threats? Not sure I like this. <laughs> Not sure I'm a fan of, of things happening in real time when I feel pressured to do things in x amount of time uh yeah I'm, I'm not the fastest one in the world when it comes to things like that um okay look at the that gunk is like everywhere all over the place intelligent hunter killer aliens which will track you down and murder you if you slip up this is pure on the sticks gameplay and is completely new for the dark pictures to survive you'll need to hide evade and overcome a variety of monsters so maybe that scene wasn't a, wasn't one of those hide scenes. Maybe that's, you're literally hiding. Maybe they're making the game more action-based. Again, I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of that, but we'll see. There is no comfort in exploration anymore. If you don't keep your wits about to you, it could spell the end for your character. We've completely redesigned our character movement controls to support stealth. I'm not good at stealth. <laughs> you'll need to adapt to each new threat you face. There are many different stages of what we call mimics in the game, from human-like characters who act normal but are not human at all, to a full-blown hunter form where any attempt at mimicry has been in favor of brute force. So some aliens will be subtle and some will just want to kill you. The DNA of the Dark Pictures is still present, though. In fact, everything you love about Dark Pictures is still here, from branching plot lines through to impossible choices. But as you'll see, we've redesigned, polished, and amped up our gameplay from the ground up to learn to lean more into sci-fi survival horror. And finally, just like our previous games, we're super proud to have another ABC star feature in our cast. In Directive 8020, we have Lashana Lynch at the helm. You'll recognize Lashana from movies such as 007 No Time to Die. No wonder why she looks so familiar. The Woman King, Captain Marvel, and Barb Marley. One love, Lashana plays the role of Brianna Young, the pilot of the Cassiopeia. She was one of the Earth's best astronauts to survive the crew, and potentially Earth is probably in her hands, yours depending on how you play the game. Okay, maybe she's not a full-on character. Maybe she's a full-on character. I knew she looked familiar, I just didn't know where. I'll watch this space for more information on Director 8020. I, we can't wait to play in 2025. Remember, in space, death takes many forms. Available the wish list today. I am super excited. I don't know if I'm a fan of the real-time stuff. Oh, that, that, that's gonna... Oh, that's that, that yeah that that's um that's in shivers down my spine i do wonder if it's going to continue to be co-op because the longer dark picture games like the casting of frank uh frank stone i imagine the quarry until dawn they've never been co-op 
But the dark picture games have always been co-op. And it'll be interesting because if if it's more like a stealth action game, then how are we going to do co-op with this? Oh, there's, there's, there's so many questions I want to know. I, I still want to know so much more about this game. On the Xbox store, they have a more descriptions here that they don't have in the other thing. And down here it says, trust no one. Encounter an alien life form that perfectly emits his prey. Years of train and trust are lost among the crew when the enemy hides in plain sight. Who is human and who is not? Choice now more important than ever. Director Ada 20 is the last standalone, the latest standalone entry. Not the last. God, hopefully not the last. And the horrifying world of dark pictures. And a dramatic step forward for the series, the game features real-time threats, all new stealth, five-player online co-op. What? Five-player online co-op. And enhanced interactive cinematics powered by Unreal Engine 5. So it's also got local ex um local co-op, online co-op. I mean, this 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 right here is absolutely insane. The fact that each person could control a different character is bonkers. How does that work if you only have two players? How does that work if you only have three? How does that work if you only have four? Like, I can see how it would work if you had five people online at the same time, but if you play solo, a single player, how does that work? I mean, there's so many questions here that I would love to know about how this game is going to play, but I guess time will tell. Until then, though, I'm really looking forward to playing the casting of Frank Stone multiple times. I'm really excited to go back into the world until dawn. So this game, it's okay if, if it's not till 2025. At least Supermassive is giving us something else until then. But I'm super excited. I can't wait. I hope you guys are excited too. Thank you for being here. If you like what you see, don't forget to thumbs up the video, like, and subscribe. If you'd like to see a description of all the games I played on the channel, in the description below is a link to a spreadsheet. It's um, www.tinyurl.com slash flightlistbirdgaming. And you can see every single playthrough we've done with a link to every playthrough. Uh, again, thank you for those who support on the channel through Patreon and YouTube membership. Uh, if you'd like to support in that way, link is in the description below. But for now, I I I'm just really excited to be playing this game. I'm excited to be playing this game with Moose Gaming and um, anyone else who we may get along for the ride. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.